The key finding is that prior knowledge of the ball tampering incident was limited to three players, Captain Steve Smith, Vice Captain David Warner and Cameron Bancroft. No other players or support staff had prior knowledge, and this includes Darren Lehman, who, despite inaccurate media reports, has not resigned from his position. All three players who have been reported will leave South Africa tomorrow. Their replacements in the Australian squad for the fourth test here in Johannesburg will be Matthew Renshaw, Glenn Maxwell and Joe Burns. Replacement players will arrive in South Africa over the next 24 hours. Tim Payne has been officially appointed captain of the Australian men's test team. In regard to the three players on report, I want to stress that we are contemplating significant sanctions in each case. These sanctions will reflect the gravity with which we view what has occurred and the damage it has done to the standing of Australian cricket. I fully understand the appetite for urgency for more detail. However, urgency must be balanced with due process given the serious implications for all involved. In addition to sanctions for individuals, Cricket Australia will take the opportunity to review the conduct and culture of our professional teams, and naturally this will involve consultation with relevant experts. We'll have more to say about how this will proceed in the coming weeks. A clear focus will be on re-engaging with Australian cricket fans and the Australian public to rebuild respect and pride. Uh, you, you, you.